Et oh, il est taxé, Gavna. Sacré bleu, je déteste les grandes villes. Anyone wanting to see the great works of French Impressionist art from artists such as Monet, Degas and Cézanne has always had to go to the big galleries in the big cities to do so, to London and to Paris. But now a new project between the Harris Museum and Art Gallery in Preston and the Courtauld Gallery in London will bring one of these amazing paintings to Preston for the first time in early 2018. The Courtauld Gallery, based in Somerset House on the Strand in central London, holds one of the world's great collections of Impressionist art. From 1939, the Courtauld's Rayon Factory was a well-known local Preston landmark and employed thousands of people at its Red Scar site in Ribbleton, now the Red Scar Business Park. But by 1980, the plant was finally forced to close due to the decline of textile manufacture in the UK and competition from overseas. During a series of events in April and May 2017, Harris Museum Fine Art Curator Lindsay McCormick shared museum archive material and photographs with workers on the current Red Scar site. She sought their opinion on which one of seven major Impressionist paintings they would like to see on show in Preston in early 2018. I went along to a later meeting at the Harris when former employees and people with memories of the factory came together in a special event to mark the beginning of this project, Courtauld Connects. Curator Lindsay McCormick gave us some history of the factory on its Red Scar site in Preston. But Courtauld was founded in 1794 by George Courtauld who set up the business making silk originally and Courtauld purchased land at Red Scar in Preston in 1934. The land and a house on the site were, were formerly owned by the Cross family. William Cross was a lawyer in Preston, he had offices on Winkley Square and he purchased the house and the adjoining land in 1803. And it remained in the family until Catherine Cross um, sold the land and the house to Courtaults. In September 1979, 370 people were made a redundant, and in 1980, when the factory closed for good, um, a further loss of it was a further loss of 2,700 jobs. So it was a really a, a big company, big impact on Preston. Dr Barney Wright, deputy head of the Courtauld Gallery, then explained how the Courtauld name became so closely linked with the art world in the early 20th century. Samuel Courtauld uh, became chairman of, uh, of Courtauld Limited at the very beginning of the 1920s. Um, and what he did almost immediately, as well as running the company, was to use his money to buy paintings and he started to buy French Impressionist paintings, so paintings that were made at the, from about the 1870s onwards in France. This collection, this private collection, he actually only kept private for a very short period of time, because at the end of the 1920s, he decided that he would give the majority of it to set up the Courtauld Institute of Art and the Courtauld Gallery as a public museum and as a place to teach art to a wider public. But our project, which is called Courtauld Connects, is designed to form partnerships with museums uh, in, at sites where Courtaulds had their factories or close by, to take works from the gallery to those museums up and down the UK to share the collections, but crucially to understand more about the history of the Courtauld factories, so that can become part of the, the story that we tell at the gallery, because at the moment it's, it's a bit of a missing part tell a story of art, but we don't tell much about the story of, of Courtauld's them, themselves. Before the evening ended, I was able to talk to Phil, who worked at Red Scar from 1973 till closure in 1980. As rayon was made from wood pulp, which became injected into acid, didn't it, to become a thread? It, Were you dealing with that? as wood pulp, yeah. which was soaked in caustic soda, which yeah. is a very, very strong alkali, mm -hmm. and then added with CS gas, and then mix together with more caustic soda, but then it go through filters and so forth and clean down to like a very fine viscous, hence the word. Yeah. And then through to box spinning, where it'd be pumped through tiny little jets, and, and a jet might be about half an inch across, 
but it could have as many as like 200 holes in it. Right. And the viscous was pumped through there, and as soon as it was pumped through there, it came into contact with hydrochloric acid, which neutralised the alkali. This is a chemistry lesson as well. Ah, <laughs> and turned the wood pulp into realm. So that's where the, the thread came from, wood yeah. pulp, through all those processes, and from that wood. was the product. Yeah. Is, is it true the factory never closed down? Was no. it 24 7? Yeah. What was the reason for that? Is it, was it the processes? Because of the processes, yeah. If, if anything stopped for any length of time, it would just completely and utterly clog up. So you, you were know? there till the very end? Oh, yeah. Was there a great sense of loss at the, the community that you were losing of workers and social club and sports things? Yeah, because. Because it was a big, big place. It wasn't was it? a massive place. I, said, I, I worked there, my father worked there, my father in law worked there. It's, well, I think it was 3,000 people worked there, just short of 3,000 people. Yeah. But the subsidiary industries that fed on that, mm. you know, it was, it was great. Were you aware of the link with Cortals, the factory to Cortals Institute, the art collection? Is that something oh, you I knew, knew of it, but I didn't. We don't really know very much about no. it, do we? And, and in the new year, eight, 2018, a real huge, famous French Impressionist painting will arrive in Preston mm. for people to come and see and to engage with the history of Courtauld's in the gallery here, but also yeah. to learn something about the art that goes on down there in London. Yeah. Paid for by the Miss, Mr Courtauld. So the next time you go to London for a short break, you must also put the Courtauld Gallery on your list of places to see some of the most famous paintings in the world not only of the 19th century, but from the medieval to the modern. Look out for news of the Courtauld Connects project in the near future, and if you have memories of life and work in Preston during the heyday of Courtaulds, then the Harris will be organising events and workshops in the new year for you to see archive materials and to share your memories. <laughs>